Hello and good day, Riders for Christ. Thank you so much for tuning in with yours truly, Nicole Tyan. And today I'm bringing you all another written piece and I'll be good now. Thank you. There is a spirit of laughter in the air during this season. It is the turning our mourning into gladness scripture being fulfilled. Glory be to the God of heaven and earth. I am in awe of our majesty because I find myself laughing, vice versa, caring for a particular situation that wants my energy and light. When we are vibrating high with God, it removes the heavy loads and replaces them with a light spirit. A light spirit is a light heart that comes from the throne of God. It's as if God doesn't desire for me to be weighed down by the cares of this world, so he is lightening the load. There are things around me that I could choose to be distracted by, but the living word is activated and I am thankful. I am thankful for God teaching me and guiding me with the keys of life. Spiritually speaking, my soul used to be in a deserted place. Imagine walking in a desert with nothing around. And I was here into the spirit of the Lord God Almighty found me and located me to the land of the living. When your soul is lost and it cries out for answers, the spirit of God has to meet us wherever we are because we are his creation. I have been going through the years and witnessing all God has brought me through. I am able to observe earthly matters and experiences from a higher place where I am with God. That is why I can say it doesn't matter where you come from because God can use you at any level and in any place. For many of us, there was so much against us before birth. So when we came into the world, we had challenges. I know firsthand what it is like to feel like the least and at the end of the batch. But God had another destiny for me and many of us and said no to the plans of this beast system. God said no to the plans of those who were used to coming against you, just like Joseph and his brothers, as well as being betrayed, just like Jesus Christ. I can testify to these truths because God has taken me through similar situations and issues. The glory belongs to God, but the life of a prophet is no joke. You must hold on to the most high alone because you will be thrown in the fire and you will be thrown in the pit with lions. But there is a great and wondrous light after it all when it's said and done, when God says it is finished which is the work he began in each of us. There are levels we must climb to get to the tree of life and the way is prepared by ours truly, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Life is not meant to be heavy or be carried with heavy burdens. That's why we feel weird and off balance when we're not happy because we're meant to be in joy, peace, and love. This is our first nature given to us by God who created heaven and earth. Life is a journey and we will experience ups and downs for balance. But the extra things that weigh us down are not meant to be there, erected by systems used to enslave. This is not the will of God for us, but for us to give our burdens to him for our souls to rest. Psalms 55, 22 reads, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Amen. God will give us laughter instead of mourning and sadness. This is the realm where God lives and wants us to be. The true nature of the soul loves to laugh and to be in joy. These are just some gifts that God reserves for his children and much more is open to us as we're trusted with the tree of life. Remember, we were kicked out of the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. Also remember that Jesus Christ is the way back into the presence of God the Father, 
the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, and the creator of heaven and earth. They have made the Bible seem like a fable to some, but I am a solid witness that God planned it to be just as it is, and that the angels helped write it and were obedient to the command of the Lord God. Glory to his name. Remember who you are daily as this will serve as a guide while walking this journey we call life. Say your prayers before you walk out the door for the spirit of the Lord to go before you, protecting you and your family. Also remember to guard your heart because everything flows from the heart with the word of God as there are spiritual forces out here to trap us. Since no weapon formed against us will prosper, we will walk boldly with full assurance of faith and the great hope that saved our souls from the everlasting chains of damnation within the spiritual realms of hell. I pray these words help many become aware of how their posture should be before they walk out their doors and before the face of God. These are tools sent to help us in our daily lives. And we are favored to be given this food from heaven. Glory be to the King of kings and Lord of lords forever and ever. Amen, amen, and salah. And that concludes this piece. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my work, to my channel, as I am a growing brand and business. And God bless you. And I pray an abundance of God's peace, joy, and love to you and your family. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. I am Nicole Tyann. Peace.